At the moment we're at a street and it is Baldwin Street, but this is really famous because it is the world's steepest street. And it is steep as, check it out. It even says not suitable for camper van, so our camper van will definitely not make that. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel Escaping Comfort Zone. So today I'm coming at you from a parking lot. Not, <laughs> not the nice scenic um, camper sites as you've seen before, but today we're in um, Dewinden. I thought it was called Doonden, but I've been speaking to some locals and I think it's called Dewinden. Um, so this is the biggest town we've come along lately. But <clears throat> we wanted to get a free um, campsite, so this is the campsite just a parking lot <laughs> it's as good as we get um, yeah but so today's plans we just got to get stuff organized we're gonna hit hit up a laundry mat clean our clothes because haven't cleaned clothes in weeks have a shower because haven't had a shower in days and then um, just start cleaning stuff up and also I've learned another lesson don't buy too much meat for the fridge because a lot of the meat just went off and we had to throw it out. But we learned all these things along the way, guys, and got to learn from your mistakes. Um, so yeah, over today we're going to get things organised and check out Dewinden and we'll see what there is to do around here. Woo! something new um, this city that I'm currently in I've been pronouncing it wrong the whole time it's called Dun Eden so yeah I'm just really bad at pronouncing names around here um, at the moment we're at a street and it is Baldwin Street but this is really famous because it is the world's steepest street and it is steep as check it out It even says not suitable for camper vans, so our camper van will definitely not make that. <laughs> like you'd go through a litre of fuel just driving up this hill. Thank you. 
Okay, so if you're ever around Dwindon City um, and you're looking for something to do outside of the city, just 30 minute drive along the coastline, you'll find this place called Lun Arch Castle uh, and Gardens, and it only costs like $32. But it's well worth the view guys. Um, haven't done the castle yet, but we're gonna check it out soon. But these are the views you get. Beautiful. Okay, so we had a tour of the castle, but I wouldn't say it was $32 worth it. Um, you can pay to do the castle and the, and the garden, but I would just choose the garden because there's really not too much to see inside of the castle. Um, but right now we kept continuing along the coast road uh, to the very tip, and we're just gonna set up here for a few hours. We're just cooking our dinner now. Um, but we're gonna wait for the sunset. Hopefully it's a good one. So get an awesome, awesome sunset shot because we haven't had a good sunset in a long time. Um, but yeah, no, it's a beautiful view around here, guys, and the drive is pretty awesome. Really windy roads, but also around this area they got um, like penguins and sea lions on the beaches. But I think they only come out like during the night time. So if you're around the area and want to experience that, it'll be really cool to experience. Um, but yeah, in the meantime guys, hopefully we get a good sunset tonight, um, but that's it for today, I'll see you on our next adventure. Woo.